Thanks, everybody, and welcome to the Pre-Accident Investigation Podcast. This is the maiden voyage, the first of, hopefully, many other podcasts to come. And it's an attempt to really expand the conversation around the new view of safety, human performance, and how systems influence behavior. And my name's Todd Conklin, and I'll be the host of the podcast, but mostly out of guilt. I have to be honest with you, there was a lot of pressure to do something. I was getting lots and lots and lots of conversations about how I should start a YouTube channel or a blog or a podcast. And so I finally eventually said, well, let's try it. And I chose podcast partially because I think I find podcasts to be really a very, very interesting way to gain information. And I do think podcasts, at least in my life, have changed the conversation. It's certainly changed the way I look at the world and it's changed the way I get information. Now, for me, a podcast makes tons of sense because I'm in a plane a lot, I'm traveling a whole bunch, and a podcast is a really, really sweet activity to do when you're in a cramped place with lots of other people just trying to live through whatever journey you're going through. It really does help while away the time. And I would uh, suggest to you guys, it's a really positive way to uh, use that time. And I've got lots of them that I listen to with pretty good discipline. And hopefully this one will be clever and interesting enough that it'll pique your interest as well. The plan for this podcast is relatively simple, and I would suggest at this point incredibly open. But I really want to make this podcast an opportunity for us, that's you and I, to have some conversations. What I want to do is create a place for us to talk about ideas and issues and problems and notions and directions that we're thinking about in our workplaces and our organizations. And that free exchange of information only really works if the conversation involves you. Now, my idea is to not use a podcast so that experts can expound on their expertise. I'm not sure any of us need any of that crap, but I would like to use a podcast so that we can talk to each other. So my goal, and certainly the direction of this kind of instrument, is to create a chance to interview people from all walks of the new view world. Safety too. I want to talk to senior leaders for sure. I want to talk to managers, field level people, and I definitely want to talk to workers and safety professionals. All of them play a big role, and all of them are enormously important to help us understand how our world gets better. And I really suggest the big answer is going to be, what should we do next? Because all the ideas we talk about, and there's lots of them, and they're all really amazing, all of those ideas kind of leave us in a place where we think, huh, how do I put some wheels on this? How do I use these ideas in an applied way this afternoon, tomorrow, the next day, the next week? And that's where we can have conversations. And we're going to talk about a lot of things. We're going to talk about learning. We're going to talk about investigating. We're going to talk about how we think about learning and investigating. We're going to talk about how we manage prevention, how we respond to failure, how we coach and counsel leaders, how we teach and instruct organizational personnel to understand safety in a way that's different from the traditional safety definitions we've used for lo these many years. And to do that, that conversation has to happen. And it probably should happen with some regularity. Now, here's my offer to you. I'm going to try this. And I'm going to try to do it with some regularity. In order for me to do it with some regularity, I think the trade-off is I need for you to help me. And the way you can help me is by listening. That would be huge. By giving me feedback, which would even be better and by creating an opportunity for us to talk to people in the field about these ideas. And we'll gather information any way we can. The technology seems to be there. In fact, the technology seems to be actually incredibly helpful for us to create a community of thought around these new ideas. And our community should be a big one. 
I'm not interested in only safety professionals, although I can't do it without safety professionals. I'm also really interested in systems thinkers and quality people and lean people and supervisors and field level managers and senior leaders and anybody else who thinks about how systems influence our world. Because that conversation has to be inclusive of everybody we talk about. Now, as we progress through this podcast, I think you're going to find a couple things relatively uh, interesting. We have to start someplace, and I'd kind of like to start with a discussion of where we've come from, because I think recapping the tremendous amount of success we've had historically gives us a positive place to start this conversation about our next steps. I always have believed and are a strong proponent for the notion that the ideas we bring to the table are additive in nature, not replacements. We want to take the giant shoulders we stand on of thinkers and doers in our world and build from those giant shoulders the next steps into moving us towards safety. So we probably ought to talk about everything. And in fact, nothing shouldn't be on the table because all of it should be important to our journey. The secret is, is some of the stuff we're going to talk about, I think you're going to find incredibly interesting. And some of the stuff may be not so interesting. You get to be the chooser because you're the listener. You get the opportunity to, to, to actually sit back and relax and take this information in. I think timing for this podcast should be maybe a couple times a month with some regularity. I'll work on that side. That's going to be hard for me, but I'll try to squeeze it in. I certainly think there's plenty to talk about. In fact, one of the things I think we can do with this podcast is really spend some time talking about information we're gathering from other disciplines that help us get better in our discipline. And I know if you're listening to me this far, this long into this podcast, you're reading, you're watching television, you're sort of pulsing the world to look for really, really good examples of how humans perform in a system and how that system either creates success or creates the opportunity for failure. We'll want to talk to other professionals as well about how they look at and manage systems, because I think that's a big part of what happens. And certainly we're going to talk about hazard and risk. Those things are vital to what we do. And I think our understanding of hazard and risk has not really grown in the human performance arena and certainly in the safety arena in a long time. In fact, I'll suggest to you that the ideas we have around hazard and risk are somewhat archaic, are less than contemporary ideas, and there's some really good thinking about risk that's existing in the world. That's our challenge, and that's what we want to do. And to do that, we want to create the very best opportunity to have that conversation, and this podcast is probably as good as any other opportunity as a starting point. It's only a podcast. It's not a YouTube video because I think those are, I don't know, watching yourself strikes me as a little creepy. But it could be a YouTube video if we had YouTube things to talk about. It's not a blog because, quite honestly, I'm not sure I have enough time to sit down and read a blog. But, you know, I can make time in the car. I can make time on a plane. I can make time when I'm doing other activities to actually download and listen to the podcast. So here's what we're going to do. I'll make a promise to do this podcast. The promise you make with me is that you'll subscribe to it, download, and tell your friends. Tell people you work with. Tell people that you think want to know more. Give it to people that you think may challenge them, but give them an opportunity to actually listen and learn. That's what we want to do. So every couple of weeks, with pretty good regularity, look at this space wherever you down, download podcasts, and you'll see a new edition. Now, each edition will be numbered because they have to be. That's the rule. And they're going to have a title. And we'll look at specific top areas so that you can chop. You can pick and choose. You can determine which ones you want to listen to. But more importantly, how you want to be involved. I'd like to interview you, and I'd like to interview workers that work with you, about new ideas, about incredible directions about ways we're moving. That's going to be important for us as well. And 
most importantly, I want to tell some success stories because I think this is an opportunity to talk about and tell stories in a way that's sanitized and safe so that legal doesn't jump on us and human relations doesn't get angry, right? But I want to talk about what we learn and how we learn it so that we can replicate that learning into other places. So without any further ado, let's start this journey. This is the pre-accident podcast. I'm Todd Conklin, and I'm glad you're here. Join me next time, and we'll talk more about what we do for a living. Until then, be safe. <laughs>